what you take away from this course is highly correlated with how much you struggle. Zoom in on the robot, because it's the star of the show here. <laughs> Slow down, speed up. Slide, let go. And turn. Yay! Yay. So nice. One of the highlights of engineering physics was the robotics course that we did after second year. Uh, I dropped by recently and it was really fun to meet the students and learn about their robots. So Chase, how uh, does this course work this year? Um, so you race two robots at the same time. Yeah. And then the person that wins gets the most points. You get one point for every block you pick up. One point for every coin and three points for yeah, finishing it. Seems to be, uh, okay. Seems to be doing its job. Then there's a bomb as well that has a magnet on the top um, that you can use a whole sensor or something to find. And if you hit the bomb, you have to restart the lab. That's right. Wrong. And then sensors, obviously, you can follow the tape, but yes. there are other things here that you can. There's an IR beacon that yep. you can go over uh, to. And yeah. you can jump off this cliff as well. Too. Jump or zip line. Yes, or zip line. Off. Right. And you you can complete the lap anyway as long as you come from this side of the bridge. So you from here or from there. The diagnosing a blown H bridge is actually the important bit. Trying to figure out noise issues. Trying to figure out all the subtleties of firmware. That that's where you're learning, and and usually you learn more the worse the problems are. Okay. So don't get demoralized by stuff not working. You're, you're, when, you're, when the course is done, you'll have learned a ton of stuff. Anything that an alumni <laughs> can help you with right now? As of this moment, like emotional support, probably. Yeah. Sounds good. Afterwards, it would probably be just like uh, future steps and career advice in general. Okay. The blocks coming in from the front and then hitting a uh, spinning brush system in the back to then lift them up and store them in a storage compartment. Uh, and Levy came up with the idea to have these closing doors that when we're driving are always going to be open. However, when uh, one of the magnetic bombs hits these uh, front Hall effect sensors, the motor for the brush will then stop and then the doors will close wow. and then the bomb will slide up the side. So the bomb gets direct uh, diverted and it works like very well. It's very consistent. So the block would come in, it slides along here, these motors would be rotating and then the, these uh, little sausage things will fling it into the robot. And you have enough for... Four, about four, about which is four. A, a lap and one point. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we know we're the fastest robot. Yeah. Uh, as of time trials, at least, we knew we were the fastest. Yeah. So a lap and one point is pretty much enough to give enough of a gap to win. Yeah. And so it's all the more fitting that you have rollerblade wheels since you're so fast. Yeah. Yes. They really help. Tell me about your robot. What are you most proud of? Personally, I'm proud of like just the fact that it's metal chassis, working with all that stuff in yeah. the CAD and like incorporating the suspension um, with the steering and all that was really interesting. Yeah. And I think it just looks really pretty, which is probably my biggest part of this. It's like, like of the whole competition. But I just want it to look cool. So it looks cool. And what's something that you guys are proud about with regards to your robot? Am I taking this one? Um, the thing I'm most proud about about our robot is probably the accurate steering system. So basically both of our wheels, when they turn, we turn at different angles. So it follows the ideal path for turning. And this is, it was definitely very, com very complicated to do. A lot of teams opted for just simple differential steering, which is a lot more straightforward and quicker to make. All right, so I'm with uh, Steven, uh, MJ, or MJ. You guys are from Team 16. So, what's the coolest part about your robot? Uh, I would definitely say it's the, uh, the claw, or we, it's a zip line, what we call the claw, which is a uh, video. So, it first detects the front edge, backs up a little. Okay. Backs up a little, do a sharp left, goes up the ramp. On it's on the zip line. No way. Slides down and then turns left and then continues the course. 
I haven't done that part yet, but at least this part works. And you guys are one of two teams, two teams. that are actually trying to do this. There might be a third, but we haven't seen yeah. them yet. Yeah. Dark Horse might be a third. Could All right. Good. Anything that an alumni could help you with right now? As of this moment, like emotional support, probably. Yeah. Sounds good. Afterwards, it would probably be just like uh, future steps and career advice in general. Okay, yeah. great. And uh, last question, this is looking like a promising bot, but if not this one, uh, who do you think is like, likely going to take on the crowd? I think the first one is the other team. Kind of do everything. If Tanj is applying, that's the other team that's doing the point other than us. They're doing point points. Uh, so they're kind of trying to get every single point possible. Okay. And you're, you're going for? My vote is just for the team over there that's not here right now. Every team, they've been working really hard, so I hope they do well. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Good you. luck. Cheers. Let's go. So I'm here with team one. Team one. Team one. Team one. Team one. You guys are. Um, you want buddies? I'm Lucas. I'm Juliana. I'm Chris. So can you share with us uh, one of the design elements you guys are really proud of? I think we'd say uh, our box collection system is what we're most proud of. Um, do you want to explain the, how we designed it? Sure. The idea was to have the blocks coming in from the front and then hitting a uh, spinning brush system in the back to then lift them up and store them in a storage compartment. Uh, and Levy came up with the idea to have these closing doors that when we're driving are always going to be open. However, when uh, one of the magnetic bombs hits these uh, front Hall effect sensors, the motor for the brush will then stop and then the doors will close wow. and then the bomb will slide up the side. So the bomb gets direct, uh, diverted and it works like very well. It's very consistent and we're very happy about our choices and materials and all the angles work. Time trials, do they go well for you guys? They were like some help. So another question is how can the alumni help you guys? In the short term or the long term, how would you want to hear from you? Um, I think we'd like to hear more of your stories and like your path to where you are now. Uh, a lot of times Andre uh, talks about all the successes of the alumni, but we'd really like to hear uh, from you, maybe some sort of guest talk system or something that would be helpful. And last question, you guys are looking pretty good. Uh, it seems like uh, you, you guys might be the winners, but if not you guys, uh, who are you hoping is going to win or expecting to, to win? Uh, well, we're expecting the team of Josh, Josh, Ian, and Davis. I'm not sure of their team name yet. Roberto is the name. Roberto. Uh, they brought a pretty cool uh, zipline system and an interesting carbine collection, and they're actually using a Raspberry Pi with a camera to detect the bombs. So I think if they're able to get all that work, it would be pretty useful. Right. So they've got computer vision running uh, on their robot. Great. Thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah, there we go. So I'm here with and uh, what is the, your team name? Team name is John Deere. John Deere. A robot name. Uh, robot name is John Deere. So the reason why that was it looked like a tractor when we first had this part. Yep. So John Deere is like a tractor brand, right. so yeah. funny name. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have issues with the company. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so tell me about your robot, what are you most proud of? Personally, I'm proud of like, just the fact that it's metal casting, working with all that stuff yeah. in the CAD and like, incorporating the suspension um, with the steering and all that was really interesting. Yeah. And I think it just looks really pretty, which is probably my biggest part of this, it's like, like of the whole competition. But I just want it to look cool. So it looks cool, just from metal casting, what would you add? I would say from metal casting as well, because it was... Very painful to make, given how we had to salvage the materials from. If here's our uh, list of different chassis, starting from the first one. Wow! So that's the iterative. Yes. Uh, uh, so with the rust box and then made it swing. Yeah. Okay. So and she was a part of water jetting all of them, oh, and lots of hours down there. So. Yeah. Okay. 
No. Uh, anything that the alumni community could help you guys with now or in the future? <laughs> I think our biggest problem recently was the, just with noise or like just issues with the blue freezing. Yeah. So any like kind of, I guess, know how to like, pre prior experience with that and things of that sort of thing. And where is the noise coming from? Our, our I2C line with our gyro. Which is a very integral part of our strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot of problems with running the motor and other components at the same time. So initially, we had problems with the IR running with the motor running, but separately they would work perfectly. But then when you do them together, they stop. And then the original fix was that, which is just switch out a motor. And then switch now, off the motor. No, no, switch, switch out. out. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. replace it with a motor. Totally missed it. But then now we're having problems with. Running the motors and having an I2C line for the gyro and an OLED display. Yeah. So just issues of things and talking to each other in some different ways. Uh, yeah, we, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out if it was exactly the issue. Maybe it's some other issue that we don't know about. Yeah, it's been boggling us for over a week, which is kind of concerning. Right, but you're in good company. Lots of other people are <laughs> facing the same issue. Yeah, right? hopefully once the thing is fixed, we can work that and figure it out. And uh, this the robot, it looks great. It, it very well could win the competition, but if not this one, uh, which one do you think is most likely to win? I feel like, um, I wanna give our vote to Carl. <laughs> the team with, the team with a Raspberry Pi and a GPU on the robot. Oh, okay. So they have imaging. So they can predict what's happening. Oh, is that Connor? Connor's yes. team? Yeah, I'm excited to see how that goes. So they're actually doing computer vision. Yes. When I saw the GPU, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think there's a lot of good teams. Just for my own confidence, he's looking at me, so I'm gonna look for their team. Uh, yeah, they have a really cool strategy. Uh, when I saw working, it was just very cool. I think it's a plan. I think it's a lot of two. Yeah, two teams. Yeah, but it's like a lot of like what's it? It's a showy, showy strategy, right? right? And I think that's like a. I like flashy things. Yeah, right. So I like, I like that strategy. Right. So if, even if they don't win, they might be the crowd. Yeah, favorite. yeah. Yes. Like, yes. Every, when you see this apply happy, everyone's going to be like, oh, it's <laughs> doing All right. Thank you, guys. Right, no problem. Thank you for your uh, Thank you for your time. Good luck. Thank you. So, uh, introduce yourselves, please. Who are you guys? Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Chase. Um, I'm Gabe. With Team 17. 17. Yeah, All right. We don't have a name yet. Uh, this is our robot, Henrietta Ford. And what are you most proud of in terms of a design element here? Um, well, the best part of our robot is most probably the servo that we got is like five times faster than anyone else's at the moment. And we also really like the pickup design we got because it's very simple. It's just motors shoveling things in from the side. So just walk me through. So you would have a block. Do we have a block here? Uh, we don't have a block on hand. But, okay. Um, I can use this. Yes. So the block would come in. It slides along here. These motors would be rotating. And then the, these uh, little sausage things will fling it into the robot. And you have enough for... Four, about four, about which is four. A, a lap and one point. Nice. So, yes. And uh, we know we're the fastest robot. Uh, yeah. As of time trials, at least, we knew we were the fastest. Yeah. So a lap and one point is pretty much enough to give enough of a gap to win. Yeah. And so it's all the more fitting that you have rollerblade wheels since you're so fast. Yeah, yeah. they really help too. Okay, big question. Who do you think is going to win or who are you hoping is going to win? Other than ourselves, I want the team that um, has the small robot that jumps off the, the cliff to win. Yeah. That, does, that does the zip line? Or no, the jumping off yeah, the cliff? Yeah, jumping off the cliff. They're the small robots. Okay. Imogen's team. It looks like... Uh, yes. I want uh, the robot that's not following tape at all. We're taking the zip line to win. Nice. <laughs> it's not ourselves. All right. Thanks, guys. So just tell me about how you found this super fast servo that you're very proud of. We wanted to do friendly skiing, and Andre showed a video from a 2010 competition that showed a robot doing it turns really well with front wheel steering and that robot was very disassembled here in the lab wow and we were having some slow servo issues and we saw that they had a different servo and we looked it up and it's discontinued so this is kind of a relic and it's super fast and it's in here 
which yeah. makes your steering uh, really smooth. Really and smooth. Fast. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. All right. So here I am. I'm with Team Four, and you guys are. I'm Matthew. Uh, my name is Sasan. I'm Felipe. Will. And what's something that you guys are proud about with regards to your life? Want to take this one? Um, the thing I'm most proud about about our robot is probably the Ackerman steering system. So basically, both of our wheels, when they turn, we turn at different angles. So it follows the ideal path for turning, and this is it was definitely very com very complicated to do. A lot of teams opted for just simple differential steering, which is a lot more straightforward and quicker to make. But ultimately, like we put the time into this, and now that we have it, it's gonna give us a competitive edge in the actual competition. And so the key thing is that it's an, like an ex as the wheels turn, your sensors. So the sensors, turn. yeah, that is a, another part of it. Is that the sensors follow? They turn in the direction we're going, which is is generally just better for steering. Yeah. But a key thing is that these wheels, if you look closely, they're actually at different angles. This one's like kind of like this. Well, this one is like that. Right. So they're all centered around a turning point. I think what makes us even right. prouder is that we've been able to incorporate differential steering with Ackerman. So we all, at the same time, if we have a very sharp format, we rotate one of them backwards and we kind of moves on the spot. So it's that's four wheel drive. It is kind of. So, yeah. so that's something that I think it's new to our team or like a couple of teams. Other teams. Oh no, it's not four wheel drive. It's not four wheel drive. It's not four wheel drive. These are these two motors turn. back here. Right. These are just two. But one right. goes backwards and one goes. Right. If we so, need so, the extra bit of steering, yeah, we have. Right. We kind of have the benefits of both. Right. Cool. Yeah. And this looks awesome, but if not your team, which one are you guys expecting to win? And why? Because uh, they are also optimizing for speed, and I think that has been a winning strategy. So for, for the competition that we have this year, um, sort of yeah, they have a they different have approach, a, though. They're using the IR. For most of the time, they're not making it. Uh, we are too forward. Thank you guys. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Attempt 10,000. Turn on. Go back. Go. Catch the edge. 90. Zoom, zoom. Slow down. Speed up. Slide. Let go. And turn. Yay.